Doing some up to my old tricks. This is the uh, cab of the 58 Dodge Power Wagon, and I've got it completely off the frame, which is really the first big step toward actually getting this thing back up and running. So I just wanted to go over with you guys, which I thought was pretty cool. It's neat to see a vehicle like this that's not actually covered with a body. So we'll just go over some of the parts here real quick if you feel like watching. If not, see you later. Um, so this is not a unibody vehicle like modern cars. Uh, this actually has the frame rails. One, two frame rails, and it's got the, the center uh, 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 sections in it that kind of keep the whole thing rigid, keep it from racking. Um, and this is a 1947 Plymouth engine. It's a 230 cubic inch engine with six cylinders in a row. They call this a flathead style engine because the top part here is flat. It doesn't have overhead valves. The valves are down lower, which is uh, more than most people know. I don't really know much about that even. So here you've got your shifter. And this is the transmission. And these, uh, let's see, this is the parking brake. You've got uh, high and low gear for the four wheel drive. And I think one of those may actually control the, the, the winch assembly. But that's linked right into the propeller shaft, which is here. It connects to the transfer case, um, which is this piece here. And what that does is it provides, so the engine, the engine goes, power goes from the engine through the transmission, through the propeller shaft, and then it hits right here. And so, okay, where does it go? Well, the power goes over, and then it's driven to the back wheel, to this back uh, axle, which has uh, some gearing in the back to provide power to both wheels. And then it goes forwards from the transfer case up to the front wheels. So we've got four wheels getting power off the engine. I always thought that was kind of neat. I never really understood it until I saw it, and I think it makes a lot more sense now, especially when you can see everything. So yeah, uh, you've got an assortment of fuel lines, um, uh, brake lines that are hydraulic. I believe these are hydraulically powered brakes. Um, and these are the old uh, brake shoe uh, drum style brakes as opposed to more modern disc brakes. You can see all the suspension, the springs. These are actually really built up from what the original spec on this truck was. I guess they were using it as like a dump truck or a heavy hauler at some point. So they just threw a ton of leaf springs in there. Um, this front is more appropriate for what the truck is kind of set up for. Um, so they are overloading the shit out of the truck and yeah, so that's what's going on with the truck there. Um, now it's interesting, this whole bumper is going to come off and mounted between the frame rails and the front is going to be a winch. Um, and that's coming down the road. That's one of the things I thought was so cool about this truck is it's kind of like frack factory spec out for this winch bumper and it's just so badass. So. This is the winch bumper that's going to be going on there. I'm going to be making it, uh, taking it back to factory, uh, factory appearance. This is this is all some farmer modified stuff going on here that I'm going to cut the cut out with the torch. Not a big deal, but yeah. So the Dodge Power Wagon project is proceeding along smoothly, um, getting some things done as we as we speak, and I uh, look forward to a video of this bad boy coming up off the truck. Just a little quick quick video and um, yeah, thanks so much. See ya.